In the years since independence, you have undergone a new and peaceful revolution, an economic and industrial revolution, transforming the face of this land while still holding to the old spiritual and cultural values. You have modernized your economy, harnessed your rivers, diversified your industry, liberalized your trade, electrified your farms, accelerated your rate of growth, and improved the living standard of your people. The other nations of the world, in whom Ireland has long invested her people and her children, are now investing their capital. But prosperity is not enough. I am glad, therefore, that Ireland is moving in the mainstream of current world events. For I sincerely believe that your future is as promising as your past is proud. And no nation, large or small, can be indifferent to the fate of others, near or far. The supreme reality of our time is our indivisibility as children of God and the common vulnerability of this planet. Some may say that all this means little to Ireland. In such an age, it may be asked, how can a nation as small as Ireland play much of a role on the world stage? Ireland has already set an example and a standard for other small nations to follow. This has never been a rich or powerful country. And yet, since earliest times, its influence on the world has been rich and powerful. The problems of the world cannot possibly be solved by skeptics or cynics. We need men who can dream of things that never were and ask why not. Great powers have their responsibilities and their burdens, but the smaller nations of the world must fulfill their obligations as well. A great Irish poet once wrote, I believe profoundly in the future of Ireland, that this is an isle of destiny, that that destiny will be glorious, and that when our hour has come, we will have something to give to the world. My friends, Ireland's hour has come. Thank you.